so much to talk about tonight. Shall we start with the heavyweights? Because uh, I think David Price, you know, he really showed what he's made of tonight. Well, tonight he really, like, he stopped a guy who's never been stopped. It was one of the best performances by a young heavyweight. Uh, near perfect, and it shows you what's going to take him all the way to the top. I'm a great believer that David Price is the real deal and the best heavyweight in this country. And, um, you know, 2011 is going to be his year. We're going to see him um, dominate in the domestic level. And right behind him is Tom Dallas. And as we get nearer down the road, it's going to be harder to keep the two of them apart. Well, I'm going to keep them apart because, you know, they're, they're both at the same stable, they're working together, and I don't want any, um, you know, I hope they can follow in each other's footsteps. That wasn't the Sam Webb we kind of know tonight, was it? That was uh... Sam Webb was uh, perfect. It was a, a, a hundred out of a hundred if I was giving him the marks. It was a great performance. He's showing that the championship has given him the confidence he needs. And uh, I think he'll go on and on, and I think he'll become one of the best like, middleweights in this country. And he, he will cause um, um, some excitement because he, you know, he's got a great following and he's a nice kid. And he keeps going like that, you can only see him getting better and better. I think we all sort of uh, started to question Tony Hill a little bit after he went wrong after a few fights, but he, he really showed his class tonight, didn't he? Well, he had a lecture in the office with me a few weeks ago or a few months ago, and it's obviously worked, and um, he's got to realise, as I said on TV tonight, that the, um, he's not an amateur no more, he's a professional, his attitude has got to change, his attitude has got to be serious, and he's got to go out there and inflict um, damage and um, pain on the people that he wants to be taken serious, and tonight he done that, so... And that was a good win, yeah, you know, and that was a good win against a good opponent, so he's now going to have to step up in class and fight like that more often. Got a Commonwealth champ as well, because it's probably one of the nicer guys in boxing, Jamie Arthur, isn't it? Yeah, that was a good fight. Both of them guys were nice guys. It was, um, you know, neither of them a puncher, so it was 12 rounds of boxing, and uh, more for the purist than um, the sort of part-time fan uh, or the guy that likes knockouts. Uh, but, you know, Jamie Arthur won. He deserved it. There's a match out there for Jamie Arthur with... Um, um, our champion, the other champion, uh, young Jason, who's, who want to become that defending his British title. So there's Scott Quigg out there down the road as well, and there's Barry McGuigan's fight at Colin Frampton. So that, that's another good weight that's um, trying to catch the public's imagination. Are you happy tonight, all in all? Yep, and then we had the pro debut of young Joe Hughes, which I'm pleased with. And you know, people who, who people don't really know, Mickey, uh, young Mickey Welsh is beginning to develop, and um, Lewis Petten also. So yeah, overall it, it was a good show. I'm, I can't fault it except for the traffic outside the building. <laughs>